What's up guys, Dan here, and welcome to my 10,000 Q&A video, woo, party and stuff and whatnot. <laughs> um, actually I'm like 10,100 something now, so this is a little bit late, so I apologize about that, but I was a bit busy the last week, so I couldn't make it then, um, so that's why I'm making it now. Um, so yeah, I guess let's get right into the questions, but before we start there, I watched um, Iron Man yesterday, um, and so that was the first, first of today's day which is let me just get all my stuff open actually don't know if it's first so it was first of may yeah it was first of may um and it was really really good so i wanted to recommend to anybody that's going to see it uh, because it was a great 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 film um i enjoyed it really 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 enjoyed it so if anybody's on it like you know i don't know why anybody wouldn't want to go watch it but go watch it and if you do watch it make sure you stay until, stay until the end because there's a little bit of a clip near the end because you know it's obviously iron man and stuff like that they always leave something there um, it's nothing amazing amazing but uh, it's a little clip so um stay till the end of uh, end of the credits was when i when they showed it yeah so end of the credits so if you do watch it um, stay tuned in the credits, I guess, to 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 what to see all of it, right? Thank me later. All right, so um, let's get right into the questions. Okay, then let's start with uh, Christian. What? Let's start with Twitter questions first. All right, now I got my phony phone out. If I pronounce people's names wrong, I'm sorry. I am kind of bad with names. So, um, um, so the first question is by Ed. Ed, what? I'm not quite sure it's E D V X R D O basically he said um, what inspired you to do YouTube videos and where are you taking your channel into the future um, what inspired me I guess um, it's kind of a kind of a tough one really uh, because it's been a really really long time when I when well, since I started YouTube because like I started YouTube probably like ah oh, man like I'm 20 now nearly 21 I think I started when I was about 14, 15. So that's like six, five years, you know, when I started posting videos on YouTube. Um, nobody was really around there. Nobody was like making videos. I think not even. Was Hutch and stuff up then? Maybe Hutch and stuff, but I wasn't really watching them. I was watching more like. Um, I think this guy. What was his name? It was like Boner Walkthroughs or something. Um. Or something like that, I, I don't really know. He, he basically did like walkthrough videos, and that's how I kind of got into YouTube. I did walkthrough videos. Um, I didn't really do kind of commentaries. Um, I started off doing le like let's play video walkthroughs. It's no commentary, just me playing through the game. And then after that, there was this guy. I really don't remember his name. I think he got banned, but he had quite a few subscribers, and he did like glitch videos, like Call of Duty glitch videos, and he would put like copyright music on them. And he would commentate over what to do. So he'd be like, I remember when like World at War Nazi zombies were out. I think it was like the, there was like a glitch or something, you know, and he would explain it and he would have like music over it. And he, he got like copyright strikes and he got banned. But I think he got like 100k subscribers or close to it. And then I started doing like videos like that as well, really. I started doing some glitch videos uh, as well. Kind of, kind of almost really, really copying them. I was, almost, you know what i say. And then, I did a bit of montage videos because of just montages were the thing back then. Like I did montages. I don't really remember who inspired me to do montages. Uh, I think it was like it's Dan something. It's Dan ZZ or something like that. It's Dan eighty nine or some shit like that. I think. And then after that, I think uh, I saw Tabes do videos and other people do videos like Tabes. I think D End people like that. Really, I think. I don't know what's the tapes. I wouldn't say I'm doing it because of tapes or anything like that. I, mean, I just saw some random people. I think I was like, that's really, really cool, but inspiring. I think nobody really inspired me to be like, yes, this guy is doing it and I'm doing it kind of thing. Because um, I don't think I really found it a bit like that. I watched the videos and I was like, that this is really cool. You know, oh wow, like this is awesome. I, I guess I should do it. And then, then it kind of. Um, like transformed into that it started from like walkthroughs then i did just commentaries like you know i did like um did like uh like tutorial videos and montage and, and then i am to here i am now and uh i guess to answer your question where i'm taking my youtube video into the future i'm guessing hopefully gta 5 and gta content i've really been really enjoying gta 
Like, I think you can just see in the videos I've been enjoying it. You know, they're, all my videos are longer, all my videos just seem more funny. Um, you know, I, I try new things with GTA, like mods and all that, so it just looks like I'm like I'm enjoying it, and I think you can see in the videos that I'm enjoying it. And GTA 5 is coming out soon, so that's going to be awesome. Um, looking forward to all that stuff, so it should be good. Okay, next question comes from News The Best, and he asked, what series are you planning on doing into the future? Um, I guess that's a tough one, really, because I don't know how like much I'm gonna be able to do with GTA 5 because everybody everybody's asking me if I'm gonna be able to do GTA 5 are you gonna buy GTA 5 are you gonna upload videos GTA 5 blah 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 to answer the question yes I'm gonna be definitely 100% getting GTA 5 you know why would I not uh, looking forward to that game crazy um, but here's like Rockstar has been really like strict with their games um, I don't know if you remember, but back when GTA came out, like GTA 4, nobody was able to post like anything. Everything just got copyright striked. Like you weren't able to post any video, like like you know, like let's plays. Same was with uh, Red 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 Dead Redemption, LA Noir. They were just copyright strike, copyright strike, copyright strike, and so it's kind of dangerous to to do it. But hopefully, when the time gets closer. Uh, I might get an email or, or a message, something from Machinima being like, okay, um, it's all okay, you can upload videos, or they might be like, okay, don't upload any videos, uh, just to be safe, or you can upload like uh, online videos without any spoilers or something like that, you know. So hopefully there's going to be something like that. Um, I'm expecting personally, I think there's going to be like, you can post gameplay videos without any spoilers, so you know, your online gameplay, you're messing about, you're killing stuff, stuff like that without any spoilers. That's what I think is going to happen. Which is understandable, I guess, but uh, Rockstar's kind of a bit of a dick about it, so I'm going to be safe about it. Okay, uh, next question comes from Zach Connors, I think that's right. Uh, he asked who inspired you to start and w uh, want to do YouTube, and he asked what games do you plan on making in the future? Um, I guess I answered the who inspired me to start YouTube question as well. Um, I wish I had somebody to be honest. I wish I had somebody like this guy is the guy that like I really really you know made me do it. Um, a lot of people say like Hutch you know um, Hutch and somebody else. Who was that other guy? Blame Truth I think or something like that. But um, I think maybe like CNNers did actually. I remember watching CNNers when he started posting World at War videos. I think I was already posting videos then as well, but like just watching him was like, wow, this guy's like awesome kind of thing, you know? I think I was already posting videos. I don't quite remember like who was the guy that made me start it, but I was I remembered like that there's people who I looked up to and I was like, oh, like I really want to get to where he is. Like he's making awesome videos. Like CNN is still like that guy. Like CNN is making some funny videos. He's cool. Uh, but there's loads of new ones now about as well, like um, uh, Nerd Cube. Um, if anybody's heard of him, he's he's really funny. Um, who else do I watch? Um, damn, I can't remember anybody. Crap, I'd have to have a look. I can't remember anybody now. Oh, this spot's kind of bad. But uh, I watch a few people. And to answer about um, what games, I guess um, that still remains to be seen. Wow, the sun's like really shiny. Let me close the blind, maybe. Uh, close the blinds. It's like one of my faces like, hello, I'm a ghost. Oh no, that's worse, that's worse. Let me close, 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 close. There we go, that's a bit better, I guess. Um, yeah, the games is kind of, uh, I guess that's always just going to be like, if something comes out cool and I'm like, yeah, I want to play this, I will. But um, for sure I'm going to try to do stuff with GTA 5. Um, and then probably some other games that come out, like... Uh, Trying to think of the games, I really can't think of any of the games, but um, I guess I'll let people know. It's kind of um, fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know any of the games coming out soon, really. Um, GTA, and then what else was I looking forward to? That's is that it, really? That I'm looking forward to? Because I mean, the new consoles are coming out and stuff. They're, like, I'm looking forward to another game called like Watchdog. And stuff, but that's like coming out for for a while, so um, still got a long time till to go. But um, probably like GTA type of video games, or like you know, I'm not really looking forward to Call of Duty Ghosts. Probably gonna be shit. Battlefield 4 looks quite cool, I guess. Um, 
I don't know, I'll see how Call of Duty 4 goes. But, um, alright then, uh, next question. Okay, next question comes from Lee, and he asked, uh, what are you most proud of in your life? Uh, most proud of in my life, uh, probably getting to university, like I am at university, considering that, um, I don't know, like, because I've got a few new, like, when I say few, I've got quite a lot of new subscribers. And you might not know this, but I'm not actually English. I am, like, 0% English. Uh, I come from a country called Latvia. And I can speak fluent Latvian. I lived there for 12 years, you know. I can speak some Latvian if you want to. Let me, let me, let me, let me do something. Let me say some Latvian for you. I'm going to say, uh, Ciao, Latvian, es tais a video. Uh, Tāpēc, ka es dabūju desmit tūkstoši subscribers, un uh, es prasīju, lai viņi man pajautā kādus uh, uzdevums, ko es lai uzdevums, jautājums, lai es varu pateikt, uh, un atbildētos, un tagad es tāju to video. So, basically, I just said I'm doing 10,000 video, blah, 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 stuff like that, you know. Uh, but, yeah, I can speak fluent that way, like, my parents are that way, and my, my mom and dad and sister and everything like that. So, um, I came here when I was, like, 12, 11, and, um, yeah, like, um, that's probably my biggest achievement. I'm in, I'm at university, at a different country, like, or they don't speak my language. And I think I'm like, my, I am the first in my family, as in, like, in my family tree, or whatever you want to call it, you know, like, the whole, like, my kind of family, I guess, family, I don't know, like, blood-related relatives and stuff like that, who has ever gone to university. So that's kind of like the biggest thing. I'm like, yes, I was fucking first. Like, so yeah, I, I guess that would be the thing. Um, but it's a pretty cool question. Thanks for asking that. Okay, uh, next question is from Patrick Guna. Or is that because he has the little, I think that's an Arsenal person. I don't know, the Arsenal people are called Gunas or Gunners or something. He asked uh, McDonald's or Burger King? Um, I'm a McDonald's type of man. I don't really like Burger King. I mean, I've eaten a Burger King, but I don't know. I don't really like Burger King. Burger King, at least in England, Burger King is not that nice. Um, McDonald's is a lot better in England. I, I like, especially I love their big taste here, like their breakfast meals and stuff. And I just, dude, like, I would, I would eat McDonald's for 30 days. I'd die from it, probably, but I would like to. So that'd be good. Um, so, uh, alright, next, next, I guess next question, right? So, uh, next question is from uh, Bola5506, and he asked, What happened to Robert? Nothing! He's just across the fucking room, like, he's just, like out there, and he's right there. Like, nothing's really happened to him. I, I guess, like, he just hasn't been posting videos because he's been doing some stuff as well, like, um, Nothing's really happened to him, he's still here, we still game, like, every day we play LOL, uh, LOL and stuff like that, like League of Legends too, and, uh, he's right there, he's, you know, we're chilling, we're probably gonna make some videos together s uh, soon, like, maybe, maybe, um, we, I think we were thinking of doing, um, uh, we were thinking of doing, of, uh, oh, what was the game called, Saints Row 3, so together, we were thinking of doing stuff like that, and the new one's coming out soon, well, not the new one, but, like, um, you know, stuff, stuff, that's, um, stuff is still, God damn it, I think there's something on my phone. There we go. Okay. Um, right. Where was that? Where was that? Okay. Right. Uh, next question. Next question. Uh, and these are from my girlfriend because she's been silly. How many nanos does it take to change a light bulb? Um, one and a half. And she said, "Why do you? Why don't you start vlogging?" Um, I don't know. It'd be a bit weird vlogging. I've never really tried. I mean, I tried doing vlogging, but I don't think I'd like. I don't know. Would it not be weird to be like, "Hi, my name's Lanip, and I'm walking down the street." I'm like a little bit like, "What the fuck?" But um, I don't know. I don't think I'll be doing it. But uh, thanks for your input, woman. I'm joking. I'm joking. Getting trouble. All right. Next question. <laughs> I'll start copying PewDiePie, eh? Um, a wink and a smiley face asked me, what is your favourite band? Um, favourite band? I haven't really been listening to band music for a while, I guess, but um, favourite band may, might be like... Uh, probably like Linkin Park, I think. Linkin Park would be my favourite band, definitely, if I think about it. But I, they used to be the shit back in the day. They're 
kind of still the shit. Not really. Like their new stuff isn't that good, but um, it's alright, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I enjoy them. Linkin Park would be the band uh, that I would uh, like to listen to in my free time, I guess. So yeah. All right. Next question. These are from YouTube. Um, so that was it on the Twitter questions. I think I got a lot more questions on YouTube. So uh, this one comes from Zach Connors. Uh, actually, I think he already. Uh, actually, he he wait wait he asked me this question. He said, uh, "What uh, what made you want to start YouTube, and who was the YouTuber YouTuber that motivated you? Uh, motivated you to start Minecraft videos? So I did the YouTube thing. That motivated me to do Minecraft videos. Um." Who motivated me to do Minecraft videos? I think it was a guy called... I saw Minecraft on a channel called JX23. He was the one that I saw Minecraft on first and I was like, oh, that looks quite cool, let me try this. So it was, it's JX23. I think it's like different as a JX23 something. Um, yeah, but it was him. So uh, next question. All right, uh, these questions come from Golden Arrow 220 tool um, he said sorry I don't have any of these things that's uh, that he refers to like Twitter and stuff like that he said uh, what made you uh, want to make videos and how did you start I already kind of answered that one if you were to design a game what type would it be and what would be the story like what would the story be like um if I was designing a game it's kind of like one that I could talk about for hours and hours, but if I was going to design a game, I might do something like Skyrim, because that'd be quite fun, or something like GTA, because you can make a fake interesting story, can't you? Because if it's something like Skyrim, it can be something fantasy, you could be fighting dragons, so it could be some crazy shit. But if you make a game like, I don't know, FIFA 2002 million, it's going to be football, so you can't do fuck all, really, can you? So I'd do something like that, that'd be fun. Story-wise, I don't know, it'd be crazy as shit and interesting and fun and crazy stuff would happen really. I don't know what, but I wouldn't have something like go over here or pick up some 10 fucking buckets of water or something, you know. It'd be something like go over here, pick up 10 buckets of water and then a dragon just gonna come in and eat your asshole or something, you know, something crazy. But that happens in Skyrim though, doesn't it? I don't know, like a unicorn would come and fight a dragon with why like, why like, I don't know, a huge scorpion like, comes and there's some crazy shit like that um then he asked if you were a polar bear how many women would it be in the chinese airport 10 yep if you were uh if you were only uh, if you could only play one game for the rest of your life what would it be and why um i think i'd play a online game for the rest of my life so like i'd play like i don't know League of Legends probably for the rest of my life if I had to play one because um it's it's an online game isn't it like so you wouldn't get bored it's not like a game that you can complete it's not a game that you can just be like okay I've done all this story now what the fuck can I do League of Legends you can play it and um, you know play with people across the world there's like new champions and there's just, something new happens every game essentially because you're playing against real people and all the games are never the same really are they so uh, that's why i picked that one i guess an online game uh if you were uh, if you were stranded on a desert island and could only bring three things what would they be um <clears throat> i've already been like something to keep me entertained are you entertained so probably like i don't know i guess i would have electricity so i'd have to bring something like um I don't know, maybe a book. I don't really read the books, but maybe that'd be something cool, like a book or something. Um, and then I bring. I'd like to bring some toilet paper. I can't imagine like wiping my ass with leaves or something like that. That'd be a bit bad. So I bring some toilet paper, and probably. Uh, I don't know, maybe like a like a phone. I guess I wouldn't. Know. That wouldn't no electricity. I don't see the point of bringing any electric, electrical stuff because that just wouldn't work and like it would be shit, wouldn't it? Um, so I bring a book, a toilet paper, and I don't know, maybe like, uh, what could I bring? Like, it wouldn't really matter like if I bring any clothes or anything like that. I don't know, maybe like soap or something like that so I could like wash myself. 
that would be kind of things I bring. Like they're the most random things you bring, but I'm thinking of more like that would help me survive or something. You know what I mean? Like soap, I could wash myself. I'd feel better about washing myself than like you know boost my morale. I'm like, yeah, I can fucking survive this island, you know, kind of thing. And then I can wipe my ass and don't feel like I'm a dirty bastard. And uh, a book to kind of uh, it'd be a massive book. I want to bring one of these like huge books. All the Twilight books. Now I'm joking. I don't know what book I'd bring, but yeah, I guess I'd take them stuff. Alright, uh, next question comes from Zulfika Hamid. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, he said, uh, Alanik, which uh, country and city are you from? Do you study in college and are you living alone or with parents? Um, I come from a country called Latvia and the city in Latvia I came from is called Liepaja. Uh, it was a really, 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 really pretty, pretty um, city. It was like a beach city. It's, it's gorgeous. It's really, really nice. Um, do you study in college? I did study in college, but um, I'm not sure if you mean this like college in America where college in America is like university. So I studied in like, I, I did like um, pri um, primary school, high school, then I went to college um, and now I'm at university. Uh, and he said, uh, are you living alone or with your parents? Uh, I live with housemates. So I got four of my friends that I live with when I'm at university. But uh, when I go home for like summer or something like that, I, I stay with my parents uh, because there's no way I'd be able to afford it because I'm a student. Uh, I'm only in my second year, so I've got another year, maybe even two more years. I might do masters. I might not do. I don't know yet. It's not decided. Um, so yeah, uh, I live with four of my friends at university, and it's pretty damn awesome. And when I go home, I stay with my parents. So that's that's the dealio at the moment. Okay, uh, next question comes from Hulk. Kerry, uh, he said, where's the Warriors, let's play, and he said, first game you were really looking forward to. Uh, where's the Warriors, let's play, uh, it's kind of on hold, I still have all the stuff to do, it, but I don't think I'm going to finish it, because I just haven't been, I've really, really enjoying GTA, I haven't been into the mood to make any let's play videos, so I'm concentrating on my GTA to see how well I can do GTA, if GTA goes well, I'll probably do GTA, but GTA is going really well, so I want to concentrate on that the most. And uh, first game I really look forward to, um, I think it was Vice City. GTA Vice City was the first game I really was like, oh my god, I want to play it, Because GTA 3 came out, it was amazing. It was like ground fucking breaking. It was like, I was just like, oh my god, this is amazing. So Vice City was really the game, the first game I was, I, I was so excited. I, um, when, when GTA Vice City came out, I was quite young still and, um, well, not really, really young. I was kind of young, and I didn't have like a PC or a PlayStation back then yet. So what I would do is I would we I would go to in Latvia. We had like these um, PC kind of um, um, I don't know what to call it, like a PC store or something where you could like rent out a PC for like hours and you could play on it if you wanted, or you could do whatever you want. But people used to rent them out and play video games on, and they had Vice City. So I'd go there, I'd rent out like a PC for like, I don't know, a few pounds or something like that. For like an hour or a pound or something for an hour. And uh, I just fucking play Vice City, it was like the best thing ever. Uh, so that was good. Alright, uh, next question is by Neil, Neil Somebody. If your penis was one centimeter long, how long would it be? Right, uh, next question comes from 555 Epic Man. He said, Can you please do gameplays again? Why don't you do gameplays again uh, uh, anymore? Um, well, I do do gameplays. I mean, I play GTA videos, but I've kind of explained why um, I wanted to have a core um, GTA fan base. I wanted to have some people, I wanted to make sure people subscribe to me to, to get guaranteed content, you know. Um, but um, I've been thinking of maybe making a Let's Play channel or something like that where I will post Let's Play videos but I wanted to have a main channel where I'm posting something consistently uh, and the game stuff to, to get a core base, core fan base for it, you know. So that's the reason why, but um, I'm thinking of maybe doing a Let's Play channel, so I'll see maybe. Maybe like Atlantic Let's Plays or something. I don't know, I, I haven't decided yet, so I'll think about it. Okay, next question comes from Thunder789047. And he said, uh, please answer my question, Atlantic. First question, what is your number? So I can hit you up, man. And second, do you have PS3? If you do, add me, uh, my game tag is blah, 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 blah. 
Um, to answer your second question, I don't have a PS3, so sorry about that. And uh, first question, my number. I don't know. That'd be a bit weird. I don't think I'd feel good about giving out my number to people that I don't know. So uh, sorry about that. But um, that's how the cuckoo crumbles, I guess. Um, but uh, thanks for the question, I guess. Um, yeah. Next question. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, next question comes from Man de la Killer. Man de la Killer. He said, uh, "When do you see yourself leaving YouTube?" Um, when I lose interest maybe into it, or maybe when I grow up or something like that. I don't know if I, when I say grow up, I don't think I'll ever stop doing it because I enjoy doing it as a hobby. I really enjoy making videos that people enjoy and view. And it's just something so cool about where else would I be able to put up a video and like 300 plus people view the video or 300 plus people see my work or something. 300 plus people will see me talk nowhere else like only on youtube i'm going to be able to have like so many people to talk to so many people to get so many people's opinions only on youtube nowhere else will be able to get so many people's opinions i think mean. so i don't see myself leaving youtube because i'm like all right i'm done youtube's done i'm t i can't be bothered anymore i don't think that will ever happen i might take like breaks or something like that and stuff like that but uh i don't really see myself leaving youtube i really don't i it's it's a, i enjoy too much as a hobby if YouTube ends, then a new website will start. Like, this will probably go on forever, maybe. But you never know. You never know, really. Um, his next question is, don't you get tired of gaming? Um, person like, personally, I haven't, really. I never have got tired of gaming. I take breaks and stuff like that, but um, I enjoy gaming. Like, gaming is my hobby. You know, people get hobbies. Like, people... Like, people might enjoy sports as a hobby. Like, they really enjoy sports. They could enjoy eating they could enjoy something really lots so i enjoy gaming i kind of am into the gaming industry i do a university course called uh computer animation which is kind of a little bit about gaming as well um so all of my stuff is involved around gaming a little bit not really when i say that i say it really loosely um but i don't get tired of it i enjoy it as a hobby it's, it's something that makes me smile or not a smile something that makes me relax something that makes me um, it's my downtime, you know, when I play video games and, and when I make videos on it. It's something that I really, really enjoy. Trust me, if I didn't enjoy this, if I didn't enjoy this, I wouldn't do this. You know, I mean, nobody does this if they didn't enjoy it. I may love making videos, I love playing games, and it's because I enjoy it. I do it. Um, if I didn't, then I probably wouldn't be making videos because you can't really fake it. It's something that you want to, want to, it's something that you want to do, that you, you know, like, if, for you to do it and especially as long as I've been doing it now um, how much free time do you get after you come back from uni um, do you mean every year like I get summer like a few months in summer I get like two months in summer nearly so that's about it so like uni finishes in my like June and then starts September I think so that's like that's a bit longer than I'm two months so that's about the time I guess I get um, but actually it finishes like early June and then starts like late September, actually later than that. But that's about roughly how much time I get free of in summer. But um, I don't mind. It's fine. It's perfectly enough time, so it's cool. And what music do you listen to? I'm one of these assholes that listens to everything. Uh, I don't really have anything. That I'm like, yeah, rock is the best. Uh, I do enjoy rock, probably the most. I guess like alternative rock, but um, I enjoy everything apart from one type of music, which is screamo like really really heavy screamo because i just don't understand it it's not my type of thing so that's the only thing i don't enjoy i guess um uh are you a chav do you like chavs does youtube make you rich um am i a chav uh, i don't think so um and do you like chavs not really no um they're kind of like the low life i guess really of 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 um like england really nobody really likes them in england i think i don't know they they I guess I would never really have anything, I don't like have a massive problem with them or anything but they just all seem like they're uneducated and they dress like they've robbed a fucking store or something, I don't know. Uh, does YouTube make you rich? Um, it can do if you have a lot of subscribers and viewers but for me not really, no. Um, it doesn't make me rich at all. Uh, I do this for, um, for just the contact with people, just to... Like, I've reached 10,000 subscribers, that's why I do this, it's so fucking cool. But, um, 
yeah thank, thanks for the question all right so that's the end of the 10,000 subscriber video hopefully you enjoyed um, I don't really know how long this video was so if I had to split it in two parts that's why um, thanks to everybody that asked a question and took part in this and uh, I am really really looking forward to 2013 um, and to the next years hopefully we could re reach um, 20,000 subscribers in half of the time that we reach 10,000 subscribers that'd be something absolutely epic and awesome so thank you to every single one of you guys that has you know clicked the thumbs up video subscribed uh, commented on videos and being active on my channel I appreciate you guys I really do 10,000 subscribers is something amazing I I am really thankful for it it's great that I reached 10,000 subscribers it's something awesome it's something I can go like I got 10,000 dude dude I got 10,000 subscribers on YouTube it's really really awesome to be able to tell people so thank you hopefully I'll reach 20,000 subscribers in half the time I reach 10 that's the plan and uh, thank you uh, for being awesome and thanks for watching and I'll see you in all the other videos and hopefully you learned a little bit about me and um, I could do this maybe every month or something like that you know ask an animal Q&A or something like that uh, depending on how well this uh, gets a uh, response so I will see you next videos and bye